and welcome back to another Bob Blast Studio Tip. Hello, I'm Bob Burridge, and this short studio tip is all about painting the illusion of coffee cups and a vase of flowers and anything that's a cylinder. And the reason I'm doing this one is because this is what I see an awful lot, a lot of you doing is that you draw the cylinder, you got the old the ellipse up there. Oh yeah, I got the ends to meet. You're so excited, and then you kind of draw the size of the, and then this is what you do. You make a flat bottom. Don't do that. This is all about painting the illusion of a cylinder. So the first thing I suggest is practice, of course, always practice the illusion of ellipses. And so you just keep doing a whole lot of them, hoping that the ends end up together. Do different sizes, you know, some are larger than others. You know, they're close enough. This is not mechanical engineering, okay? For a drawing. Just keep doing these, practicing these, practicing these over and over. It'll come in handy later on. So with charcoal in hand, I'm practicing the illusion of a cylinder. So a cylinder, a glass, a tumbler, a coffee cup, has two ellipses. One there and one down here too. All right, then you just connect the, the sides, make the bottom line heavier. It's the same the same ellipse as you have up in here. And that's, you don't have to get rid of that part. There's a coffee cup or a vase or something like that. Pretty easy to do. And once you have that, now a glass, a clear glass actually has two cylinders because a glass is actually thicker on the bottom. You're gonna see this when you see an actual glass, okay? Take a glass, look at it, take pictures of it, and practice drawing the illusion over and over and over. And if it had liquid in it, oh my gosh, it's the same ellipse. Here are the same lips, so maybe we won't see the back one so much because it has liquid in it or something like that. So practice the ellipses, the ellipses, the same ellipses, not a bottom. And let me show you one more thing in a couple of seconds. So you need to anchor the cylinder, in this case a glass of water. So make sure you the bottom is a lot heavier, it ha like a little shadow. And now, now we're going to do one more thing. We're gonna pretend that we have light shining on this. So we're gonna have a shadow, a little bit of a shadow here. That helps the viewer to know where the light's coming from, right? And a, a crazy thing happens when you look at a hunk of glass, it's actually pretty dark in the bottom here. And then the light actually comes out of this, it's like a magnifying glass, a thick piece of glass on it, and creates this little white charcoal here. It creates a little bit of a hot spot. We call them the hot spots. Now, don't forget the front of the glass. The front of the glass also has a little bright spot in there too. And you know, now we can go in there and start playing with charcoal and white charcoal. And just now we're just gonna have fun all over the whole place. Again, this is all about painting the glass of water or clear liquid. Inside here, it gets a little bit light too. Also, an interesting little thing happens. The top surface of the water, if it's clear, is going to reflect whatever color is coming in from this from the top of the painting, and so it acts like a mirror. So these are all the fun little things to play with when you're doing the illusion of a glass or a cylinder. Let me show you one more thing in a second. So here's one more little thing I wanted to show you. Let's say I'm doing a, a coffee cup. It's gonna be the same radius. There you go, the same radius, nice and round. And you have, you know, the, the handle in the background, something like that. But here's what I really wanted to show you. Inside, the liquid inside, it's the same radius. Same radius. There we go, giving you the illusion. Of course, don't forget the shadow on the side of the cup we're creating. And inside here, light's coming down this direction. So inside here, it's gonna be light. The back side of the coffee cup, the vase, it's gonna be darker. The white charcoal. It's really like bright up in here. The advantage of drawing on gray paper, you're halfway done. I'm just working with the uh, lights and the darks. Now, if light's really coming down in this direction, it's gonna shine on the inside of the coffee cup. There we go. We'll give it a little bit of highlight up in here. And those are the little basic techniques and tricks that I use in painting or drawing the illusion of a cylinder. Oh, forgot the shadow. Here's the shadow. Now, since this is a coffee cup, it's solid. It's not glass in this case. 
So there's not going to have a hot spot in the shadow. Only if it's the glass are you going to see a hot spot. So you'll see this the next time you have a glass of water sitting outside in the patio. Hope you had a good time on this one. And I'll be right back. And that's it. Uh, so when you're ready to do all these cylinders, whether they're doing coffee cups or vases of flowers or whatever you're doing there that holds liquid, just remember the ellipses everywhere. Whether it's liquid, make sure the bottom is a little heavier. And it depends on the view of your eye. If this one here is, happens to be a cat's eye view, so you're looking straight on. Still has a little bit of a radius, but of course the top is going to be straight on there. You won't see the ellipse the ellipse so much. So a little exaggeration there. And no matter what I do, I exaggerate it, of course. And so uh, if you missed any of these previous Bob Blasts, go to robertburridge.com and log on to the archives uh, because they're all going to be there and there's plenty of information. It's all free. Yay! Hope you see you in the next one.